So we got an update on former NHL hockey player Mark Pavlovich. And in case you guys think that name sounds familiar, he was part of the 1980 America on Ice team that ended up defeating the Soviet Union in the Olympics. Um, so last month he ended up dying and they've been trying to figure out the cause of his death and they have ruled it a suicide. Um, it was ruled by the Minnesota Medical Examiner. It was ruled by asphyxia by the Anoka County uh, Medical Examiner's office. He was staying at Eagle's Healing Nest in South Central Minnesota to get treatment after assaulting a neighbor in 2019. Uh, Judge Michael Kuzco ruled that he was incompetent to stand trial and ruled him mentally ill and a danger to others. And then Judge Cusco, he also stated that psychologists found delusions and paranoia. They diagnosed, um, he was diagnosed with a mild neurocognitive disorder due to brain injuries. And just a little bit of like stats on his NHL career. He, uh, he had 137 goals, 192 assists and 355 games. He played for the Minnesota North Stars, which is what they were called at the time before naming the, being named the Minnesota Wild. The San Jose Sharks, he spent most of his career with the New York Rangers. And the source of this was Chris Bengel, CBS sports writer. So you know what, Nate? Uh, you start first. Your thoughts on Mark Pavlich, uh death being ruled a suicide? Uh, well, first of all, before I say anything, I just want to wish up. I just want to say, you know, uh, may Mark Pavlich rest in peace. And before I say anything else, I just want to give a moment of silence. Thank you. And uh, before I actually continue, I just wanted to correct you on the Minnesota North Stars. They actually became the Dallas Stars. The Minnesota Wild was an expansion team after that. So, okay, my, yeah. my bad. Uh, you're good. A lot of people don't know that, actually. But anyway, um, yeah, Mario, that is very upset. And I want to, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, this dude was assaulting neighbors and stuff like that. Well, at least a dude took time out of his life to try and help, uh, help himself as a person, you know. And, you know, and, he, and obviously, you know, it sucks, you know. Some people are under pressure and this stuff happens and I hate to and I hate to talk about it. I hate to report on it. But unfortunately, you know, Mark Palovich is very, very popular in the hockey world. He's very famous for like you said, the Miracle on Ice. Miracle on Ice team back in the eighties and it's just very sad for a boy. I remember I heard about this at first. And it was just so much serious because it just it was just like he died and that was it. There was no there was literally no details on it. You know, and, and it was like that for a couple of weeks until now, you know, we just got the information. Um, so yeah, and, and you're absolutely right, it is very, very dark. So um with that being said, it's it's rather unfortunate. I hate, we hate to report on this kind of stuff, but unfortunately we have to. Um so with that being said, you know, may Mark Palovich rest in peace, condolences to his family, condolences to all the players and coaches he's played with, uh, and condolences to all the teams he's played for, and I'll pass on to you now. Yeah, well, before I say anything, I just want to say, you know, rest in peace to Mark Pavlich and, you know, condolences to his family. Uh, one thing I want to correct you on is I'm pretty sure that the judge ordered him to go to that tr uh, treatment center because it did say oh, okay. that he, he was mentally ill and a danger to others. Um, here's the one thing that kind of, like, interests me about this, Nate. And this is something that's been that's been talked about, like, a decent amount of times in sports, especially now since they're starting to, like, change the rules to make a lot of sports more safe, safer or more safe, excuse me. The fact that uh, he was diagnosed with a mild neuro neurocognitive disorder due to brain injuries, that just shows you that, like, look, hockey and NFL, they're no joke, you know? It's no it's no joke. The, like, how many how many hits that you take to the head, especially in hockey, like, you don't even need to take a hit to the head. You can get body checked and end up getting that whiplash from getting your head hit on the ice, you know? So, obviously, like, we under I completely understand why the NFL and, like, the NHL, they're coming up with rules and they're coming up with, like, all this new technology – and all these new helmets to kind of help other to help the athletes uh, or prevent them from getting more concussions or head injuries. I completely understand it. And this is a complete and this is a perfect example of it. Here was a good hockey player, right? He was a very he was a very, very good hockey player. He's a good hockey player who basically because of brain injuries, you could say these brain injuries were the reason why he assaulted the neighbor in 2019. As the judge said, look, as the judge said, they ruled him as incompetent to stand trial and rule him mentally ill and dangerous to others. If he wasn't, if he wasn't mentally ill, he's not, he's, he's going to prison for something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or he's going to jail. In other words, if you assault a neighbor, you're going to jail. But because he was mentally ill, he didn't go to jail. He ended up going to a treatment center. So it shows you how much these, how, how big of a toll these sports take on your body. And, and a case like this, as sad as it is, it makes you want, it makes you appreciate athletes even more because 
you realize that they actually put their body on the line. And this is a perfect example. They put their body on the line for your enjoyment and entertainment. You know, obviously, you know, it's also to get, obviously a lot of them, they have different reasons. They want to win a championship. They want to, um, what do you call them? Get paid. They all have different reasons, but at the end of the day, they're playing in front of us as fans and giving us the entertainment that we want to see. So when you look at something like this and you look at how many, the injuries that he's had to his head, you know, or his brain, it really is, it, it really is sad. You know, it, it, it really is a sad thing to see a good hockey player like this to see how he had brain injuries, probably from hockey, most likely that's where it came from. And because of these brain injuries, it, it, he ended up becoming a, going to a treatment center. And then obviously the fact that they ruled it as suicide, it just makes it even you know more sad. You know, it just makes it more sad that uh, hockey, I'm gonna call him a hockey legend because I think everybody on that Miracle on Ice team is a hockey legend. Cause think about it, Miracle on Ice is probably one of the greatest sports movies of all time. And it's probably one of the movies that a lot of hockey players look at. And yeah, probably like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the American ice has done so much for, has done, has been such an icon in the sports industry. So everybody, I think on the American ice team, I think they're, I think they're a legend and that includes Mark Pavlich. So, you know, with that being said, may Mark Pavlich, may he rest in peace. And I hope people remember him as a good hockey player, you know? not as a hockey player who dealt with brain injuries, you know, assaulted his neighbor and got went to a, I hope that's not how you remember. Hope you remember him as one of the original Miracle on Ice hockey players. Hope you remember him as a gold medalist because he defeated his, him and his team defeated the Soviets. And I hope you just remember him as a, as a, as a hockey player and how good he was as a hockey player. So with that being said, you know, may Mark Pavlich rest in peace and condolences to his family.